G'day guys, Menace here with a new video today. We are checking out Stardew Valley. I've had my eye on this one for a little while. I am super keen to play this. If you've ever played a game called Harvest Moon, it is very similar to that. Um, the 2D style is beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. I'm keen as to play it. So Stardew Valley is an open-ended country life RPG developed by Eric Barone. So the story behind it, you've inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley. You can learn to live off the land and these in and turn these overgrown fields into a thriving home. It won't be easy. Ever since Joja Corporation came to town, the old ways of life have have all but disappeared. The community center, once the town's most vibrant hub of activity, now lies in shambles, but the valley seems full of opportunity. With a little dedication, you might be the, just the one to restore Stardew Valley to greatness. So I guess that's kind of our goal, is to um, get the farming back into Stardew Valley. I have to apologize as well for my voice. I might sound a little bit raspy. It's, it's my morning voice. I woke up real early just to play this one. I got the key super early this morning. Um, this game will be available on Steam Humble Bundle and GOG from the 26th of February, so not far away, for $14.99 US, which is cool. Um, it's going to be single player on launch, but there will be four player co-op uh, a little while after release. So I can't wait to do that. Hopefully we can play a little bit with some friends of mine. And this will be good for streaming as well, I think. Um, Streaming is something that I want to do in the future, for sure. Well, I've already done it in the past, but you know. Uh, we're going to call ourselves Menace. Farm name. I hope the music's not too loud. Farm name can be Peanut Land. Peanut Land Farm. My favorite thing. Oh, it's video games, you know. Video games. I like them. Animal preferences. Now, <clears throat> this is a hard one. I like both cats and dogs, but I think cats are my favorite. All right, we're going to be a dude, of course. And wow, look at all these options. Character customization out the wazoo. Oh, we can be a pink person. Can we like, oh yeah, we can be blue and green like we do in other, like Terraria. I love Terraria, but we're going to be, this color looks fine. Lots of hair as well to choose from. Oh, that's a fro and a half. I kind of like that hair. Uh, is that a mohawk? I don't know. That's a sort of mohawk. That's like, I don't know, man. That's like some elvis -y stuff right there. Oh, right, we can be Super Saiyan if we want to. Nice. Emo. Don't know what that is. <laughs> There's a lot of hairstyles here. Oh, wow. That's some very strange stuff. These are all girls ones now. Okay. I don't think I want to have girls' hair. Let's go with... I think it was this one I liked. That's pretty tame. What shirt do we want? I want the overalls, though. Is that a kitty? It looks like a kitty. I like the kitty on the black shirt. It's amazing how just a few pixels can can create art or create an image in your mind. Hey, it's a skeleton shirt. I like that, too. I think I want to go with the kitty. Come here, kitty. A love heart. Oh, there's a lot of options here. Yeah, I'm not going to get... <laughs> That's not hard for choice that's not hard on for choice that's for sure uh, oh boy that clicking is quite annoying actually let's get down to the kitty no, kitty was back yeah nice oh beard a little goatee little mustache type thing that looks more like me I have a goatee oh big old handlebar Hulk Hogan mustache <laughs> let's go with the the goatee yeah that looks cool all right, so, oh, wow, there's, like, lots of options here. Uh, should we go with the blue? Nice blue eyes. Nice deep blue eyes. Like that hair color. A little bit darker is fine, and our pantaloons color. I like red. Red's, like, my favorite color. So we're going to go a nice... Nice red. Cool. Let's get into this story. So there's obviously RPG elements to the game. And we're at Santa Claus's house. He's like Summer Claus, you know? He's green. And for my very special grandson. All right, so this is our grandfather on his deathbed. It's so rickety in the middle of the lounge room. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No wonder you, well, you're dying. You got a weird looking little bed, mate. All right, we got a letter. Cool. Is that like a... What is that cross on the back? No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. We will. Now, listen close. He's got a sword as well. 
He might have been an adventurer one time. Adventurer. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh, yeah. Every day for me. <laughs> um, hurry up a little bit. And your bright spirit will fade before growing a growing emptiness. All right. That's that's really, like, dim. Don't, don't, don't be so down, mate. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Okay, then. Farewell, Santa Claus Grandpa, Green Grandpa. Now let Grandpa rest. All right, see you, buddy. XX, 20. That's 20 in Roman numerals. 20 years later. <clears throat> Joja, join us, thrive. Look at that. They've even got, like, an indicator, work and rest. So I guess work is, like, constantly on. There's the CEOs in the corner, obviously. Terminated. Ooh. Look at this guy with his cowboy hat. Everybody clicking away. Look at those CRTs, man. They're huge. That's me. Next to this guy and the Sheila. And they look, they got cameras on them. Wow, that sounds like a, looks like a horrible place to work. <laughs> the skeleton on the right. You thirsty, mate? Go get some water. What's going on here? Look at that old school mouse. I like it. Oh, there's Grandpa's letter. Can we click on it? Now. Dear Menace, if you're reading this, you've just, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. Whoa. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Peanut Land Farm. Oh, I can't wait to get there. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old fella for me, will ya? Alright, man. Time to go to Stardew Valley. Oh, I love those, like, hills. Check out the bus. We're on a bus. Cool, let's go. And the trees and stuff. I like... I just like this art style. Um, it just, Terraria does that kind of art style, and, and it's really nice. Well, that's a loud bus. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. All right, let's go. Little birdie. What's up, birdie? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> it's a suspenseful intro. Ooh. Bus is stopping, I assume. All righty. So this is Robin. Hello, you must be Menace. I am. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. What? They, what? The mayor's involved in my arrival? I must be one important person. The farm's right over here if you follow me. All right, let's go, buddy. Hey, that looks cool. This is our farm. So you can see it's a little bit derelict. This is Peanut Land Farm. Thanks, dude. Wow, wow, wee wow. Look at all the mess. <laughs> What's the matter, buddy? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Oh, I can't wait to get, like, full-on crops growing. I like these types of games where, you know, you're farming and selling and whatnot. And here we are, your new home. Hopefully the house is nice. Let's go in. Oh, watch out. There's a bloke here. Ah, the f the new farmer. Hey, Lewis. Oh, it's, the, it's this, his mate, Lewis. His grandpa's friend. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. The mayor, man, comes to greet me. I'm super important. You know, everything's been. everyone's been asking about you. What? It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal, really. It must be one tiny, tight-knit community. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Yes, I am. It's a good house, very rustic. Okay, then. I like it. It's very pretty. You've got logs here. A window, that's enough. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Well, crusty might be a little more. Wow, that's savage, Robin. Calm down a bit. Calm down. Rude. I think that was supposed to be in the bubble. Well, <laughs> don't listen to her, Menace. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of the house upgrades. Well, I want a house upgrade. Oh, busted, mate. Oomph. I think the text is broken. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Yeah, let's do that. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Alrighty. The townspeople would appreciate that. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not, not real one for like going up to randoms and saying, hey, what's up? I guess we'll find out. I almost forgot if you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. 
Well, good luck. See ya, buddy. Okay, so that's that box there is like our point of sale. We have to put all of our goods in there. Alright, good morning to you too, Rooster. Your progress has been saved. Cool beans. I've set the sound up. The sound is gone, actually. I think we can do this. Go into options. We need to turn the music back up. I turn it all the way down. Let's go about there. Hopefully that's a good volume for us all. So we are in our bed. We've got a few tools here. We've got the axe. We've got the hoe. We've got the watering can. Nice. A pickaxe and a scythe. So I'm guessing that's for cutting grass. Yep, cool. We have a night and day cycle, which is here. A journal. It's Monday, the first day of ever. And 7.40 a.m. I'm still in bed. I'm a bit of a sleepy head. I think I dropped something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, I picked up the rug. I can put the rug anywhere I want. Nice. Set it up for nice feng shui. Cool. Can I move the... I can move this, whatever this is. A bowl. And my TV. You to go in the corner. Like there. Oh, I already was in the corner. Can we can we rotate this or something? Oh, oh I'll put the chair back over here. I don't know what that is. It looks like a gift, but... Oh, we... Go to sleep for the night? No, no, no. Okay. So bed we just walk into. Cool. I like our shirt. It's so good. This looks like a gift. I don't know. Ooh. Parsnip seeds. Jew, got some parsnip sneeze, needs, seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Thanks, Lewis, buddy. All right, let's open up our journal. Oops, hang on. Can I just... Oh, we'll get rid of that. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. All right, cool. And now we must also introduce ourselves to 28 peeps. So... W, A, S, and D walks us around. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six at the top. And I think it's time to, uh, well, we're going to need to till the soil. So our hoe is down here. Let's go outside. Now, where are we going to put our first crop? Let's put it along the side of the house here. Well, all right. Can I get rid of this by using the scythe? I can. Okay, let's clean up this house a little bit. Nice. All right. What we might do is we might put our seeds here. We've got 15 seeds. We can do three rows of five. Uh, let's get rid of some of this wood. Now, I've also got energy here. I need to be careful. Can I get rid of these? Is that, that's always an axe. You dingus. There we go. Uh, maybe a pickaxe for the rock, I assume. Nice, we got rocks. Uh, you. No. There we go, nice. So now we need to use the hoe to till the soil. There we go. Two. And then three. One, two, oh, no, two, three, wait, one, two, three, yep, four, we'll add another one down here, five. So this is our area. So it's just left click, basically. It's a little bit difficult to kind of get what you want. You gotta like sort of be standing. Oh, no, oh, no. All right, we'll make it over here. We just got a bit of tilled soil, which is fine. Let's open up our seedies. Plant you one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Three, four, five. We got five left. Four, five. Now we need to water it. Now, he's watered. Oh, I watered the tilled soil. I'm going to have to get used to these controls. So every day we're going to have to do this. I wonder if we can go and get more water. That would be a good thing. Let's uh, go for a walk. Now, shift is to sprint. Very much uh, like most RPGs. Do we have like... Alright, let's have a look in here. What do we got? Peanut Land Farm, current 500 Gs. we got some gear here we can get. We've got skills. Ooh. All right, so farming, mining, foraging, fishing, combat. Oh wow, I'm already liking this game. Bit of social aspect. Oh, that's right. We can get, we can get a wife in this. Get us out as a waifu. I'm keen as for a waifu. That's the map. Cool. Crafting, wooden fence. Craft with. Maybe we should put a fence down. Like. Around our little. Why can't I put a fence down? Let's 
put it here for now. Um, I need more wood though. Maybe we should clean up our house a bit. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the wrong one. Ah, I'm doing it again. I'm using the wrong... Wrong tool for the wrong job. Timber! Nice. Alright, let's get some of this wood. We got sap as well. Oh, the bush is there. Let's get rid of some of that. We got more fiber. Get rid of all this fiber. Uh, can we get rid of this tree stump? Yeah, we can. So you got to chop a tree, then chop out the tree stump, which is cool. Um, what I want to know, actually, get out of it. Crafting. Can I craft a chest? I need 50 wood. I think that'll be a very, um, probably a good thing to start off, is maybe having a chest to put our stuff in. We've got 17 wood logs from this. Chop you down. Timber! to walk through the long grass walking so slow through the grass probably be easier if i chop down uh like the wood logs around here then maybe use less energy because once we use up all of our energy uh i think you only you can only sleep to get more i'm not sure we should probably stop sprinting how many have we got 34 all right let's uh scythe away some of these bushes get our tree here start chopping him down we're running out of energy so i guess we'll find out in a minute what happens i don't think we can do anything until um the sun goes down like can't sleep until the sun goes down chopping down trees really does use up a lot of wood all right cool we're almost done just need two more that one and that one give me all your wood oh there was a couple of wood hiding over there all right so let's open up our crafting. Let's craft chest. Oh, it's just simply as simple as that. Nice. What is this? We got some clay, stone sap, a fluid obtained from trees. Nice. And I think. Oh wow! Look at all these items: fish, artifacts, minerals, cooking achievements. Always show. Let's do this. I think that's a pretty good tip. Oh yes, I remember seeing that. All right, we'll do that. Let's uh, can we put the chest outside here? Yeah, let's put it right at the front door. That's a good spot to put it. Down she goes, hello. Can I not put you there? Maybe I have to put it like over near the house. Or is it a right click? Let's try it. I, want, I really want it here. I don't know how to put things down. Interesting. Uh, where's options? Controls. Uh, access. Run inventory slot. Check or do action, use tool, left click or C. I put you down. Oh, all right. We can put it down there. Can I pick it up again? I don't know, but we can shift click and oh, you can just click and stuff goes into, into here. Let's see if we can pick this up. I hope we can. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. We can. Um, let's get rid of this post and we'll put it over here. So I guess we can't actually put whoop, the chest over there. No problem, Mo. Um, open up our chest again. Oh, I guess we lost that fence. So we've got a lot of sap. We've got a lot of that stuff. I think journal. Getting started. We've already learned that. Cultivate some parsnips and we'll go talk to some people. I don't want to... I guess we're going to have to walk all the way over there. I don't know if I can sleep. Let's go have a look. Our oh, right click is is the action button. Can we sleep? It's 4.50 in the afternoon. I'm a tired farmer, yes. Your progress has been saved. 
Cool, so I think that's it for the first episode, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching this Stardew Valley. This is going to be a series, so I'll definitely be playing more in the future. Hopefully, we can learn together. If you guys do start working, uh, start playing this game, please let me know, and we can start sharing screenshots of people's farms and builds and whatnot. I'm keen to get into this one, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you follow me on Twitter, at Menace underscore Plays. Hit that like button to show your support. Leave a comment with what you reckon about Stardew Valley, and if you're keen to play it. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which will be coming out very soon. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.